Namaste all, my name is Tejas and today before we get started with this presentation, I would like to wish you a happy Memorial Day. And then this is the today's trivia. In science, we have always learned that water boils at 100 degrees. Then when we have fever, 102 and so forth on, then why does the water in our body not boil? Please answer down in the comment section below. Now I'm going to hand this over to my dad to continue the presentation. We will continue our presentation. And today I'm going to demonstrate uh, two asanas, one for your neck pain and another can help with neck and back pain both. Very simple to do, very effective uh, with your neck pain and low back pain. If you have any specific medical condition that may limit your ability, you can do your best. But make sure you get a clearance from your physician before uh, you do this. Again, uh, this is for informational purpose only. I'm providing all this information for free in good faith. Uh, use your judgment and uh, use your common sense. Do not overdo and uh, do at your risk. And again, uh, these two asanas, which I'm going to talk about. One is a matsyasana, very good for neck pain and cervical spondylosis. It works almost like a traction on your cervical spine and another is a Natarajasan laying down and uh, that helps with your neck as well as low back pain. It stretches your piriformis muscle and it stretches your sciatic nerve to some degree and uh, can help with sciatica as well. It did help me so I am hoping it will help you as well. So let's get started. Before that I am going to show you So this is our spine. So I'm just going to move a little bit away uh, so that you can see, okay. So this is our spine and uh, it has uh, seven cervical vertebra and uh, five lumbar vertebra. What you're seeing is essentially cervical spine. And the spine is, uh, has a vertebral body and uh, in between each vertebral body is a disc. Disc is like almost like a shock absorber so that it helps to cushion the forces whenever you're walking and jumping. Okay, and uh, then because of this disc, there creates a space between each vertebral, between two vertebral bones so that the nerve root comes out at that level and goes uh, into your arm and into your leg or your sphincters in the lower back. And so essentially all nerve roots are coming from the spine and these nerve roots are the channels of communication between your, between your body, between your brain and the body. So if there is any problem in these uh, nerve roots, then you get pain. And if there is any spasm in the muscles, then you get pain. Uh, if there is any arthritis in the facet joints, you will get pain. If there is any disc degeneration, uh, which are, are disc desiccation or disc herniation, then it may impinge on the nerve root or even spinal cord and it may cause pain. So this is mainly meant for uh, mild uh, or to moderate symptoms, but if you have any severe symptoms, uh, then you should definitely not do this and consult your doctor first and get clearance. Okay, so I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, first this uh, Matsyasan, which is like a fish pose. So for this, lay it down flat on a stable surface, preferably a firm surface. and. Then you go into a bridge position. For this, bend your knees, lift your hip up, and then interlock your thumbs behind your, behind your hips. Uh, and then let it drop, and then make it flat. And then using your elbows, push your shoulders up. And then let your neck fall and let the head touch little bit on the ground. Do not put too much weight on the head. Essentially your elbow is pushing your shoulders up and your head being down, acting as a traction, pulling your neck and it is stretching the cervical spine. And 
just stay in this position for 30 seconds to one minute or as you feel comfortable. Keep breathing normally. And once you're done, do not drop. Lift your head up first. That's the key. And then gently relax and put your shoulders down. And you can lift your hip up and then take your hands to the sides. So this is Matsyasan. Very good for your cervical spondylosis, neck pain. If you have any pain radiating from neck in, into your hands, fingers, this also helps there. In yoga, you do not need any external gadgets like inversion table and all those things. You can essentially do all these things with your body as the instrument. So essentially this worked as an inversion therapy without ha having to buy anything else. The second asana I'm going to show is called Nataraj asana in the laying down pose. We'll do it right and left separately. For this, take your ankle on the right side, put it to the left of your left knee and then take your left hand, put it on your right knee and then try to push it down to the ground. As you're trying to push it to the ground, make your hand horizontal and look at your right hand and then you're pushing your left knee with your, sorry, your right knee with your left hand down to the ground. Do your best. It will take time and more you do, more you will stretch these muscles and more you will be able to push it down. Initially, you may experience discomfort and pain, which I did experience as well, which improved after a week or so of continuous practice. And the key here is twist that you're putting on the muscles and on the spine and keep everything in a comfortable position. So do not overdo and injure yourself. So you will maintain this position for around 30 seconds to 60 seconds. And now you're going to relax here, bring it up, down, and then put your hands here. We'll repeat the same thing, similar thing on the other side. Take your left leg, put it on the right of your right knee, and then take your right hand, put it on your left knee, and try to push it down to the ground as much as possible. And then take your left hand, put it horizontal, and try to look at it by bending your neck to some degree and the goal is to push your right knee as you're looking at the left hand. If you're too tight, if you have a lot of lumbar issues, you may not be able to push it, but if you keep doing every day, you will be able to do it. Initially, you may experience pain and sometimes you, the pain may be a little bit uh, bad in the first few days and sometimes up to one week. But if you do it every day, the pain tends to go away and the sciatica like symptoms and low back pain tends to improve with the time. But the key here is practice, you have to do it every day. And then we will relax again. And this finishes those two asanas. Let us sit up straight. Again, this finishes those two asanas. Uh, you can do it anytime. Preferably an empty stomach, maybe better in the morning or evening, or maybe you can do it in, even in the afternoon. Uh, again, make sure you uh, understand your body and do not overdo and injure yourself. Hope uh, you benefit from it. I did benefit from it as well, and I want you to benefit as well. Thank you. Danyavad. Namaste.